Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add this nice little upsell to your WordPress WooCommerce store. It's a simple plugin that you can install and set up and we're gonna just basically cut straight to it. So I've got my website here, it's a little test site and I've got a little store, got some fake products on here uh, and I've got like some, I've got everything set up like my shipping, payments, everything I need to make this work. Now, at the moment when you add a product to my cart, you just get the normal WooCommerce cut. So uh, I've got some products I want to try and get this globe and add an upsell for this in my attempt to be funny human hand with green nails so you buy the globe and we're going to try to attempt to upsell this product so the way that works is i'm going to tab back i'm in my wordpress dashboard and i'm going to go to plugins and add new i'm going to type in upsell order bump offer And we're looking for this upsell order bump offer by WP Swings. I'm going to install, activate, and now we can get started. So on the left here, you'll see here order bump, and I can actually click just directly onto that there, and it'll sort of give you a little bit of uh, questionnaire uh, that you can go. I'm just going to skip that questionnaire for now, zoom out just a little bit, and there's a video that actually shows you how this works, but I'm going to go through and do that for you. <laughs> Um, but you can see there's a little bit of an introduction screen wanting you to upgrade to premium. But actually instead, I'm gonna go to order bumps list and create a new order bump. I'm gonna give this one a name. I'm gonna say uh, green hand offer or green nails hand offer. And the idea is uh, I can actually put a priority the pro version has a few more settings for now, I'm just gonna leave that because we don't have pro, but we're gonna search for our globe. So the target product is the product people are buying. Uh, we can also just choose categories. I'm just gonna, I don't really have many categories, but if you have product categories, um, you can also exclude certain roles. You can sort of leave it like that. The schedule is daily, but uh, we've got it pretty straightforward. These are all pro offers like that we wanna go through. This is just a simple free version. And we want to find the product that we want to offer at a discount. So I'm actually going to go in and choose green human hand with green nails. And I'm going to offer a discount of say 15%. So that way if they purchase the two together, they get a discount on the human hand. Now you notice it refreshed and sort of like scroll down. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but you get the idea. Now we have some templates and it doesn't necessarily show up exactly like this but we can choose one that we think suits. This one already looks pretty close to my theme, so I'm gonna choose Alluring Lakeside, and yes, I wanna change the template. And I've got that selected. I can now click to this Design tab, and I have a series of options. Now the preview sits over here. I really don't like this dotted line. I'm just gonna go with a solid line. I wanna choose a border color that's a little more sort of close to the theme of my site. So we can go with something like this, bump it up nice and bright. And the background color we can keep the same, but for the sake of the video, I will maybe just also choose another color. So you're simply going through and changing the bits and pieces to fit. We can change some spacing here, there, and just around the box. I want it to have a little bit of presence, so I will actually increase the space around it. And you go through, set things up the way you want. So the select background color, text color, if I decide to make that white and then I can make the background red, that's really gonna stand out. So I'll choose that for now. Make the text size, whatever size I decide is suitable. The product section, I do wanna keep black text. I can change that. I can make the text size say 16. And here where we're actually accepting the offer, I'm gonna go through and just change some of those colors and bits and pieces around. So it's pretty straightforward. You adjust this section here until you're happy with what you've got. I'm gonna make that a bit smaller and click Save Changes. Now I probably saved a little early, so I'm just gonna come straight back down for a second and actually gonna skip. I've gone to the Design tab and now we actually have to go through to our Content tab. And you'll notice in here, you can actually change some of this. I'm happy with most of it, but if I want to, only for you, 
Especially, I can go through and change what information is in here. Uh, you can see it's just the price. You can actually go through and add in the, your own content. So a unique and handy product that will benefit your existing purchase and complement your globe. You'll see here, it's now added that text there. And it's pretty easy. You can basically go through and edit all the text in this template to get it looking the way you want. Uh, and then you'd save those changes and go from there. So the settings are now saved and my order bump has been created. So before I go on, we're just gonna explore some of these other bits and pieces here. We can go to the order bumps list here and see our order. And there's also some settings that we can adjust. Uh, some of these you might just be happy with as they are, but you can turn this on or off when you're ready. So if you don't want it on, you can go in and just turn it off um, and you can set up a few basics. I don't know if this is really gonna be something worth going through and spending too much time on, but things like the, the product permalink, you can actually have it open in the same frame or a new tab when that target is clicked. Um, skip for same offers. Like uh, that basically, if we hover over this, skip the bump off light for products that's already present in the cart. So yes, we do want that. We don't want to offer the discount that they've already got in there, unless you want to be a little like, uh, hey, there's a discount available if you want it. So going through, checking these uh, offer cart dependency. As the target is removed, the offer associated with the target will also be removed. So yeah, you do want to remove the offer when they remove the products associated with. So free width, fixed width. This changes the width of the offer itself. The location can be after the payment gateways or before the payment gateways. Um, I'm gonna say we we'll just change that to before the place order button. And the price offer format, you can change it to sale price, regular price, whatever. So if you have the regular, if you have a sale price on an item, you might want to consider checking that and seeing what kind of results you get. And then we've got some other simple things such as we can have multiple sort of offers. We can delete all the data if you decide to uninstall. So this means if you uninstall this plugin and then reinstall it later, if this isn't turned on, the data should be there waiting for you. Otherwise, if you want to remove all of the information, you can click that so that when you remove the plugin, it removes all the information. And if you're a developer, some custom CSS and JavaScript is there too, which is pretty handy. I'm gonna save those changes. Now, one more thing before we do actually go and check this is if I go to my order bumps list here again, you'll notice that the status is on sandbox. I actually need to make this live. So I go back to my, uh, so I go view edit here. I turn sandbox to live and then I click save changes. So now the actual offer is live. So if I go back to my store, I go to the globe and actually purchase it. So add to cart, view cart, the cart shows as per normal, but when I proceed through to the checkout, I fill out my details, I go to purchase, and here we have our upsell right before the place order button. Now you can move that above everything else. Like I was saying, you change the position, uh, but let's say I wanna add this in here. I'm gonna click tick. And now you'll see on my order, human hand with green nails has been added at a 15% discount, and I can place my order and have that product added. So that's pretty handy and pretty cool. I'm actually gonna place this order. I'm gonna actually go cash on delivery, place the order. I haven't actually filled out the rest of the form, so I'm gonna quickly skip ahead. All right, filled out my details. I'm gonna place order. And you can see I've actually purchased this product. Now, the other thing I want to do is if I skip back, there's a sales reports and analytics section. So if I go into that, you'll see here that the order, the offer has been viewed twice and successfully accepted once. So that shows you a little bit of how successful it is. It shows you your conversion rate. So if you leave this on your site for a period of time and you can actually see how many people have viewed the order and how many have actually acted on it, you can then choose whether or not it's worth keeping or adjusting for the future. So. Pretty easy to use, pretty cool little feature. So I just thought that I'd uh, show you guys that today. And um, if you wanna check that out, it's by WP Swings. You simply find it in the WordPress repository. Otherwise, uh, I do believe they have a website which I'll pop into the description below. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you next time.